change. Um, police are expected to go into the building and sweep through if they haven't already. It was some indications that perhaps the shooter was still inside, a man identified as Timothy Hendrum, uh, but there's also some concerns that maybe he has left. We will keep you up to date on this developing news in St. Louis. Meantime, Gilbert Arenas, a guard for the NBA's Washington Wizards, has been suspended indefinitely for an incident in which he and a teammate both allegedly displayed guns in their locker room. To make matters worse, Arenas jokingly made pistols with his fingers to jab at his teammates during a game Tuesday night. That was apparently the last draw for Commissioner David Stern. He has insisted that Arenas is not fit to take the court right now. Arenas says he respects the decision to be suspended. Eric Canoia is the president and CEO of BPI Group, which provides security for athletes, celebrities, and foreign dignitaries. And Eric, the NBA is suggesting that uh, they want athletes now to essentially go out and get their own personal security uh, if they're inclined to somehow pack heat. What do you make of that uh, argument by the NBA? I think it's a, it's a great idea, a great idea, but I think it's a day short, day late of what they should have been doing in the beginning. There are countless um, incidences where NBA and NFL players have been targeted for various reasons and have been murdered for various reasons. This is something that the NBA and the NFL have, should have been um, stressing to their players a long time ago. You uh, represent uh, a lot of uh, athletes and provide security for them. What's the uh, the general uh, mood that you're picking up as far as the NBA players and their personal security, whether it's a teammate or whether it's just a, a crazy fan? Right now, there have been a, a, a various phone calls coming in as far as the pricing for security, and that's pretty much the, the biggest idea, the biggest question right now is how much does it cost? I think that for most of these players, the cheaper option is to buy a gun, but it's actually the wrong option. Eric, I want to ask you while we've got you, uh, a lot of discussion, of course, about the um, what's been happening with the TSA. As part of your job, you sometimes uh, help bring VIPs through airport security and work with the TSA. What do you make of some of the problems, like, for example, the problem at, uh, at Newark where a TSA agent wasn't really paying attention and somebody slipped through? Is that uh, a sign of larger problems? Do you generally find the TSA to be easy to work with? Tell us about it. And, and, and most of the airports that we've come through, TSA has been pretty pretty easy to come through. But because we're in the security field, I'm pretty much watching what they're doing. And for me, the bigger issue is post integrity. The, 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 the ladies and gentlemen that are working there are pretty much overworked. They don't, they're, they're shifts along. They're, they're, there's no real good post integrity in terms of where you're supposed to be. But for the most part, I've never, I haven't seen any problem as far as expediting my CEOs or my uh, pr protectees through the airport. All right, Eric Canoia. Eric, uh, we will uh, be talking with you again in the days ahead. We appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you, David. Thank you. After the break, why question number nine.